Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Drive Through Thursday. Thursday. You're a big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. Drive Drive Through Thursdays. We like to find what's hot. Trending in the world of fast food drive throughs quick bites. And if, if, so if it's making Facebook pages, restaurant windows, um, we're going to be trying those foods and reviewing them, right? Exactly. Because we're all about food family, family fun. fun here at Big John TV. We are in the house today because for a couple reasons. One, a quick lunchtime thing. I'm a, I am gotta go back to work. Two, it's raining and storming and ugly outside, and we didn't want to go out there. Mm -mm. Um, so we're in the house today. Ghost restaurants put on hold this week. We'll get back to it next week mm -hmm. because there is a new item. We had to get on it quick. Yep. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about, children? We are talking about um pizza. Pe pizza squares. Pizza. <laughs> pizza squares is a pretty <laughs> decent way to describe right. it. Right. This is Pizza Hut's new Detroit-style pizza. Detroit. They spent over a year developing and perfecting its Detroit-style pizza, trying more than 500 um, versions. They tested several in the Midwest, where this actually comes from. And so true to the traditional Detroit style, it's rectangular. It's got cheese all the way to the edges, so it's going to have that crispy edge, hopefully. Um, it should be like a caramelized crust, loaded with toppings, finished off with top, finished off with sauce on the top of everything. And they have four versions. They have cheese, double pepperoni. Uh, it's on the side of the box. I was trying to see it. Double pepperoni, most uh, meaty deluxe, double cheesy, and supremo. There we go. All four varieties. Um, so the boxes, I like that design too, by the way. That's pretty pretty cool, like the yeah, retro. Cool. Um, crispy, cheesy edges. Vine ripened tomato sauce up top keeps the crust light and airy. 50% more cheese melted all the way to the edge. Loaded with toppings, cooked to perfection. Yep. And it says that there are supposed to be 32 slices of regular pepperoni and 48 slices of crispy cup pepperoni. Ooh. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. I've already opened it to look at it for the thumbnail, but I gotta tell you, it smells fantastic. It looks amazing. Let's take an up close shot here. How should I do it? Like this, and go. Ta-da! Ah, <laughs> almost dropped it. It smells fantastic too. It smells a little bit more tomatoey than a normal pizza. Yeah, it, just overall, it's like. It looks hearty. It looks hefty. Mm -hmm. Now, comment down below. I want to start getting the comments up. Um, what's the difference? Hey! Because I have a theory. But the difference between a deep dish pizza and a Detroit style pizza. Detroit style pizza doesn't get much. <sighs> I think it's the order of the toppings. Because it looks like the bread is the same. Yeah. The pizza base. Well, there's another famous popular pizza chain that pizzas are only five bucks ready to go that calls themselves Detroit style pizza as well. Mm. It's like Chicago's deep dish where there's sauce in the middle and cheese and stuff. Right. Or, no, Chicago has sauce on the top. Yeah, sauce on top too. So, yeah, comment down below, guys. What, you, what makes a Detroit style versus Chicago deep dish? What's the difference? Right? Do you, do you know? No, I don't know. No, I don't know. Oh, oh you okay? <laughs> no. Why'd you punch the table? All right. So, so this pizza was eleven ninety nine. Um, they do contactless delivery, so I didn't even have to get out of the car. It was pretty cool. Nice. And then it said two different kinds of pepperonis, right? Yes. The regular. So you can actually see them there. Mm -hmm. The cupping ones kind of cook up and form a cup. Those ones are the good ones. That's like. Those ones are the crispiest. Yes, yes. they are, and they do crisp up nicely. So. Let's grab a slice. Yeah, enough with the talking. Jeez. Girls. Um, mm. I want a corner. I want this corner. I'm doing the Honestly, I'm doing a corner too. So. Oh, can you hear that? Mm -hmm. the, cr the crunchy bottom on this thing. The, the pizza crust. Fantastic. Light and fluffy. If you get only the edge here. <clears throat> Not the outside edge, the inner edge. It's almost like a breadstick. Now I gotta try and find some with all the goodies. Oh man. I don't really like it because all the tomato sauce on the top. Because I don't like tomatoes. So take a bite around the edge because the, the edges don't have any sauce at all. Mm -hmm. It's only on the top. 
I was gonna say it is a very big mouthful of sauce if you take a bite from right. that section. That would probably be my only complaint on this. No. Is the non dispersal. I like it. Of the tomato sauce. <clears throat> Did we bring napkins to the table? No. No, I didn't. All right. Here we go. You don't get me. Thank you, son. Take that. I take that. You Here take one that. for me, too. But you get to those bites that don't have sauce on them, and it is so crunchy uh -huh. and crispy, but not at all dry. There's still a ton of, like, flavor in there and moisture in there and deliciousness. That is fantastic. Holy cow. I do like the flavor of the sauce. It's not too sweet, not too acidic. You taste the tomatoes in it. There are chunks. Wow. And this does taste like um, the boy sticks. Right? If I were to take a bite of this blindfolded, I would not know. I would never guess what rest what pizza joint it comes from. Right. I think there's a lot of pizza restaurants you would taste and you'd be like, they're known for this, they're known for mm -hmm. that. The crispy bottom would be a would be a hint. But the flavor of that sauce and the Jimmy stole my crispy pepperoni. <laughs> Thought you didn't like pepperoni. He likes the crispy ones, apparently. I like the crispy ones. <laughs> I think the crispy ones are the best. There's a good amount of cheese on this. I just got a really, like, <clears throat> cheesy bite. Yeah. Um, I think this pizza is practically perfect in every way. Mm. This is like the Mary Poppins of pizza. Honestly, probably one of the best pizza reviews we've done. Mm -hmm. this, me, this is delicious. For me, I'll need the tomato sauce. A little bit less for you. I yeah. can understand that. My only complaint is the dispersal of the sauce because you get bites yeah. with, it bites without. <clears throat> but because I like the flavor, I don't mind the bites where it's heavier. Right. Here, you want my other crispy one here, James? <laughs> Listen to this crunch. This is very quickly turning into lunchtime with Big John's family because know, right? it's lunchtime for reals and I could just keep eating this pizza. I mean... Family of four, you're getting two slices. Um, could I eat more? Absolutely. Will I be content? Yep. Um, <laughs> highly, highly recommend this. Um, the other flavors, I, I, we wanted to go classic, but... So the um, meat one, that would probably be my second choice because they add bacon. It's the same two pepperonis with the addition of bacon. Mm -hmm. um, the Supreme, I can't remember what it said that one had. I think it had some veggies on it. But I think we might have to try some more. <laughs> no, just top with, um, so the Supremo topped with Italian sausage, red pineapple, red, red, but the, <laughs> the heck, <laughs> topped with Italian sausage, red onions, and green bell peppers. But Meat, no pineapple? No pineapple. I don't know why I said pineapple. <laughs> I saw the P and <laughs> the couple N's there. It's dark over here in this corner. Uh, meaty deluxe is loaded with bacon, Italian sausage, and cut pepperoni. Um, double cheesy layered with two kinds of cheese, including aged Parmesan, and then we got the double pepperoni, which we're all in love with. So, so comment down below if you like um your pineapples on your pizza. I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. That is a good question. I don't mind them. It wouldn't be my first choice, but if it was that and no pizza at all, I would definitely take a pizza with pineapple. I love pineapple pizza. No. I like it on the barbecue chicken the, ones. My best way to describe it, kind of similar to what you said, <clears throat> If we're at a pizza buffet, and I'm still hungry, and it's the last pizza up there, I'm going to have a slice. <laughs> but I would never, ever, ever, on my own, order it that way. So, that's my theory. There you go. Um, we have to rank this thing. Okay. Let's do it out of there five. Were, um, there were eight slices, so let's do it out of eight. How many, how many pepperonis out of eight? Does that make sense? Howdy. I'll give this a full, solid eight pepperonis. Yep. Yep, I agree. Eight. Six. Six pepperonis for you? Eight. Eight for you. Okay, so out of a potential of 32 points, we got 30 overall on the pizza. That's pretty darn good. That is. Did you like that? I just came up with all that on the fly. That was good math. And, and good I haven't, I haven't told visuals. her yet though that she's gonna actually have to find a little, a little picture icon. Pop up some pepperonis. Of pepperonis that are gonna pop up when we say that. 
She's got to do that now. No, no. <laughs> After this, there should be a commercial. Pet pet brownies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the um when he's on the drums. Yeah. All right, we're done. Um, guarantee you, this pizza will be completely gone within yes. the next ten minutes. Of us being done filming. Yep. So, I hope that this becomes a regular uh, everyday item at Pizza Hut because I would totally order this again. And you said 11, and the price wasn't bad. 11 bucks? Yeah. Uh, really not bad. It's probably a little bit cheaper than the rest of the country. Um, but that's not bad. That's really not bad. I'm on board with it. Boom. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. Make sure you put the, the, the notification bell on. So you get all the alerts when yeah. we post our videos. Mm hmm. You can run big jobs on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And Teespring. We got a Teespring account, too. Yeah, we have merch right down there. That is right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a very tasty one. I did. And we'll catch you on the next one. There we go. Bye. Bye. Bye.